Hi, Mr. Tan. Thank you for choosing the Beamer PhD. My name is Joseph, the technician working on your vehicle. I have already completed the repairs of the belts and tensioner, and I have already cleaned the engine bay, the undercarriage as well. We cleaned the oil pan. I cleaned the front of the engine as well. You can see that there are no returning leaks at the oil pan at this time. However, we do have a returning leak of oil see that oil has formed a drip that is in between the engine and transmission this is where the engine meets the bell housing and the transmission this would indicate that there is a rear main seal leak uh, what further confirms that it is a rear main seal leak is that um, during the road test we heard a squealing noise when start stop was activated so if i came to a stop at the light at a traffic light uh, the vehicle would squeal and then the engine would shut off So you can see that when start-stop activates, this is when the noise occurs. This would indicate, in our, in our experience, what we've dealt with before on this car, uh, and this engine specifically, is that the rear main seal is allowing air to escape the crankcase. Um, so, the only reason this could be caused is because of a failed PCV system. PCV is a valve that's built into the valve cover itself. And if that fails, it will cause crankcase pressures to go out of specification, allowing air to get sucked in through the rear main seal. So this is indicative of a bad PCV system and the common place where the seals fail. Allowing the squeal to occur is in the rear main seal, which is in between the transmission and the engine.